You know what, Michael? There are certain occupations. There are certain lifestyles. There are certain habits, activities, choices in general that come with risk and that come with consequences. One of them is talking about another man's wife. If you talk about another man's wife, or in this case, if you say the wrong thing about the wrong man's wife, you inherently run the risk of getting the shit slapped out of you. That's the code that I live by. That's how I was raised. Now, foundationally, Michael, before you respond, foundationally, I'm just listening. I just want to establish listening. something. I'm listening. No, but I want to. I just okay. want to establish something. I don't. Want, I don't want you to misunderstand what I'm saying. I just want yep. to establish yep. something. I wish Will Smith would not have walked up on stage and slapped Chris Rock because when I tell you I couldn't sleep last night and it was so weird, my spirit was yeah. restless and uneasy. It was just. Yeah. I'm still disturbed. You know, I just it it's, it was so awkward and it's it, every time I, I see it, I get this feeling in the pit of my stomach. So I wish that what we saw last night at the Oscars prior to Will Smith becoming the fifth black man to win the award for best actor in a leading role. Um, I wish that hadn't happened. But I also know that some people come from the I wish a so and so would school. And we can say what we want. And understandably so and rightfully so and I'm not going to argue on behalf of Will Smith and say that he did not overreact. What I am saying is that every man knows that when you start talking about somebody's wife, somebody's loved ones, but in particular somebody's wife and her appearance, that could happen. Which is why I can say, I can proudly say I have successfully avoided getting slapped because I don't talk about other people's wives. I don't know, Mike. <clears throat> I can't. I just can't. I can't. I, I, I can't put myself in that position. I can't. I can't even see it that way. Because Will Smith, Will Smith should know better based on the position that he's in. Okay, now what you say is true. What you say is true in a certain place. Look, man, like you, if, if you should know, all right, so what, uh, going by what you said, every man should know that that's a possibility if you go down that route. And you should also know you're going to the Oscars, Chris Rock is going to be there, you're sitting close enough where he can see you, you might be a part of the monologue. You might be, you might be. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you this, I'll, I'll make it even more personal. I'll make it more personal. I'm going to see Chris Rock here in Boston on Friday. I hope he doesn't cancel because I'm Are sure you? there's gonna be some material. Yes, I am. I'm gonna see him on Friday. Mm. Mm. And I don't know where my seats are right now. Uh, we're going with the, going with another couple. I don't know, they, they, they're they handling the seats. Um, so I don't know what kind of connections they have. I th I'm, I'm feeling pretty optimistic that the seats are going to be good. And so if we're sitting in the second row or third row, I just know I might just, I, I don't expect to be a part of it, but if you want to see Chris Rock and other irreverent comedians, there's a really good chance that something comes up where they might mention you. It's like do, DL Hughley. He, is, that, is that typically a part of his bit? Like, I, I, and no, not to no. cut you off, not, not, derail you, but not necessarily. Do not necessarily. Right. Not, and I don't and see many comedians doing that as much. Oscars, you think about the Kings of Comedy the Oscars, days when the guys were yeah, walking, like, what you wearing? Yeah, I know what you do yeah, for yeah, a living. Like, yeah, yeah make it for, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't do that as much anymore. And it's and it's actually, you know what it is? It's the, and not to get too much off of a tangent, because I'm going to come back to it. Yeah, sure. But it's almost like a lost art. It's almost like the equivalent of a freestyle rapper. You know, those the dudes, some dudes can't freestyle. Some dudes just go off on another level and they're, they're talking yeah. about objects in the room and they're talking about contemporary, yeah. you know, things in the news. It's amazing. So th for a comedian to be able to do that, just kind of look in the audience and just come up with stuff off the top of the head is pretty amazing. But look, calm down, Will. And, and calm down. And I'm sorry, I don't even buy the 
the defending the honor of my wife thing. Like stop with the toxic masculinity. Hey, you know what? If somebody's talking about my wife, I can tell you this. If somebody's okay. talking about my wife, you know what my wife is good at? She's much mm. better than I am. Mm. Comebacks. <laughs> She's smart. She's feisty. Mm -hmm. She doesn't take anything from anybody. So mm -hmm. I don't necessarily need to, if there's not a physical threat to my wife, I, I, what, I need to come in there with a cape on and hey, hey, keep my name, my wife's name out your mouth. Hey man, this is Hollywood. It's entertainment. You know what's happening. It wasn't bad. It really wasn't bad what he said. Says Calm you. Calm down. Says you. Calm down. Michael, but okay, I, come on, Mike. Michael, that's easy. That, come on. No, man. that's easy for that's easy for you to say, Michael. Listen, let me okay, again, foundationally. I want to establish the foundation for this conversation that we're having, okay? I'm not saying that you're wrong in anything you just said, okay? I'm not saying it was Will Smith's right to put his hands on Chris Rock. I'm saying he wasn't wrong. Or how about this? I ain't oh, saying he, he should have slapped him. I ain't saying he should have slapped him, but I understand. Okay? I don't. <laughs> a, a, a famous person once said. A famous person also once said, ain't nobody above an ass whipping. Okay? And Listen. I just want to point out. It, it, to bring a little bit of levity to this, just for a second. You know, we have talked about this for a long time. Yeah. I have advocated for more people getting slapped in general because way too many people in this world are too comfortable and too safe, especially from a distance, because they ain't been slapped enough. So they think they can say whatever they want. Now, back to your original okay. point about, about toxic mas masculinity. Yeah, th thank you. Thank you, Hannah Hi. Nicole Jones. Nicole, excuse, excuse me, uh, Nicole Hannah Jones. Uh, she's absolutely right. I don't. It was. A, I don't. It was assault. You don't think it was? I assault? don't see it. Well, that's for the law to decide, and technically it was. And but Chris Rock's okay. not going to press charges apparently. But sure, it, call it assault if you want. I want to be clear on something. All right. Like I said earlier, I wish that Will Smith had not done it. But I think what cannot be ignored is that, I mean, there's something toxic about Chris Rock insulting Jada, Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith's appearance and her hair. Again, not really? knowing, unbeknownst to him, really? that she suffered from alopecia. Now, should he have known? Could he have known? Did he know? He claimed, uh, apparently he didn't. I'm not even going to get into all of that, okay? So you saying it's not that bad to Will Smith. It was okay. Okay. Oh, so if, 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 it's, if, it, if it's that bad to Will Smith, Mike, there are there are probably 25 I'm not about ways. to tell one. I'm not about to tell. Yes, he could have cussed from where his seat and made his point. He right. could have sat back right. and said the same thing. By the way, this goes to show you just how crazy it was that he slapped somebody on stage. The cussing is like secondary. Like what he said right. aloud is not even the headline. That's like the subhead. That's like buried. It's like he actually went, took the step of slapping him. But yes, Michael, under, again, he could have sat back and said all the things he said and made his point, right? He could have waited right. until they got backstage and gave him and, and, and gave him those hands. Okay. He could have waited until his speech or not. for King Richard okay, or not. He could have waited until his speech for King Richard to say, to have make the same points about protecting your family is like, hey, we got to also protect our women. We got to protect our black women. Chris, I'll have you know that my wife suffers from alopecia and you of all people, given the documentary you did called Good Hair, you should understand a very sensitive relationship in history black women have with their hair and their appearance. Correct. So I'm offended Correct. by what you said. He could have said all of that during his speech. So there are a lot of ways that he could have approached it, Michael. I am with you on that. He didn't. And we could Monday morning quarterback, or in this case, Monday afternoon quarterback, what Will Smith could have, would have, and it's, should it's have even, done. It's what not I'm saying to me, what I'm it's saying, okay, it's not nuanced. It's not nuanced to me either. Okay, because here's a saying that I know you've heard, you're familiar with. You get wore out where you show out. So yeah, okay, he's at the Oscars. Right place, a wrong place, wrong time to go slap somebody. How about this? How about we make it easy on everybody? Just don't talk about his wife. Not, not in that way. Just don't talk about his wife. 
Come on. All of it could have been avoided. Really? Could have all it, been avoided. It, it could have been avoided. You, you said, and, but and that, this is sorry the, for the cliche. It, 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 sorry for the cliche. More than one thing could be true. Again, before you take over, Michael, I just, no, or before you get the mic back, no. I just want you to wait. I just want you to know that I agree with you that Will did not have to resort to that. I'm simply saying you invite getting the shit slapped out of you when you talk about somebody's wife. Both of them were out of pocket. That's all I meant. Back to you. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. And you said, okay, and here's I'm going to get this. I, I want to be clear on this. Okay. You said Will Smith, I'm not saying Will Smith was right, but you said he wasn't wrong. Didn't you say that? I'm not saying it was his right to slap him. He had no right to slap but, Chris Rock, but he but wasn't you, but you wrong. Because that's was how he chose to wrong. react to somebody insulting his wife in his presence. Wrong. And everybody reacts to that differently. Everybody is not as 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 calm in his ability to control his temper as you are, Michael. You ain't no no no. It ain't got to be like me. Hey, hey, listen, don't be okay, like okay like other people. Be Will Smith because you're not alone. Be like, A lot be, of people be feel Smith. like he shouldn't have done it. I'm be Will saying Smith. be Will Smith. Okay. Hey, hey, talk about it. Cuss him out. Hey, hey, flip mm -hmm. flip him the bird. Flip him a double bird. Tell him, you know, don't laugh. Say it ain't funny. Or I'm gonna see you after the show. Whatever it is, whatever you need yeah. to do. But yeah. going in there, so everything it's up until like, the slap, you you would be okay with any kind of a like, reaction. You'd have been fine with just not the slap. Yeah, I mean, they, you can't w walking up on stage to do mm -hmm. it to slap them. Mm -hmm. At some point, then they click in. Wait a minute, I'm walking up on stage. It was a long like walk too. It. Yeah, like oh, we had a lot of, like a lot of time said, to think uh -oh. about it. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, walks a lot of time there, to think about it. He slaps him. Yeah. And then what's so disappointing? What's so uh, disappointing? I'm still, I, and I'm also from, still confused about why he initially laughed. Did he not? Did it not register? Because I, because I think everybody noticed that Will laughed at when the joke right. first happened. Jada cringed. Jada Will didn't. laughed. Jada didn't. Yeah. Right. Jada cringed. Will laughed. I don't know if he didn't get the reference, but go ahead. Will, you said Will saying something was disappointing. Go ahead. Yeah. You know what, what's so disappointing is that he did it. I don't know if he felt remorse or not. I can't get into his head. Yeah. But he had that walk up there. He knew what he was going to do there. He does it. Goes back, sits down, then stays there. And 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 there's no there's no um, there's no attempt to no there's no attempt from anybody else to go get him. Uh, it's funny. I just saw I just no, saw a headline from CNN where they, they they claim that the academy strongly considered removing him after this. Well, they well it, it, a little to stronger. Not only not only was Will Smith was wrong, the, not only was Will Smith wrong, the Academy was wrong for not taking him out of there. And then when he gave his speech, when he wins, he tries to defend it uh, uh, under the guise of, "Hey, I'm playing uh, Richard. I'm I'm winning for King Richard. He was a fierce defender of his family, and I'm a fierce defender of my family too." Hey, stop with the patriarchy stuff. Like that, 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 that's just too much. Like, oh, I'm going to defend my woman. That is so played. That's played, man. So it, it's one thing. It, okay, can can my woman, so to speak, my woman, can she defend me too? Can she defend me? Can she defend me as well? Sure. Or is it only except it's only acceptable? So if if a woman I does that, I, listen, we're, I, I, we're I, I, know, I know Sarah. I, I'll be I'll be in the back alley with Sarah in a minute. I know only will jump in if necessary. <laughs> I know, but Absolutely. it would, but it would be, it would be spun a different way though. I think it would be spun a different way, uh, and it, there there are many Why dynamics is it being spun? of this happening. How 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 is well, it being spun? When you say a different well, way, split. how is it being spun now? I would say it's split. It's split of some people think Chris Rock, you know, just what you said. Some people think Chris Rock, uh, you know, had it coming. You can't bring that up, and some people think that Will Smith. Uh, you know, did the right thing or did what he had to do. But I'm just saying, I, I would suggest to you that if it's a black woman going up there and doing that, now we're dealing with angry black woman uh, cliches. We, we are kind of dealing with some angry black man cliches today too. And would he have done that? Would he have done that? And would it have played out uh, just like this? If there's a white host up there, if Will Smith, is Will Smith gonna go up there and smack a white man? And if he well, does that, can I answer your question? If he does okay, that, ahead. is he sitting there? Does he continue to sit there without any okay. kind of uh, hands being on him? I doubt it. I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad you brought up that hypothetical. So glad you brought up that hypothetical, because implied, or I'm inferring from that hypothetical, that somehow Will Smith would be 
less inclined. More fearful, respectful. He wouldn't Probably. put his hands on a white man. So that's saying something. That's a Probably commentary not. about Will Smith. That's a commentary about Will Smith that I'm in front I got lots of commentary about implying. Will Smith. Yeah, you know, about who he is I'm, the person. And he somehow it. would be more afraid of a, of a white presenter than he was Chris Rock. But okay, let's play that hypothetical well, game. Yeah. And I'll play I'll, I'll, I'll play it temporarily temporarily because I don't think I don't think I, I love that you said it the other day and I know this phrase, but it's just still stuck because you said it the other day. That dog ain't hunting for me. Number one, this idea that let's just let's just talk. Let's just talk about it all. This idea that black people look bad today. That's bullshit as if white people have the moral high ground on good behavior. Okay, right. We okay. just saw the damn. We just saw the damn capital get get stormed. I don't okay. care about yeah, yeah, how that. we collectively look today. Black cliches, okay, I'm with you too. black man, black, angry black man stereotypes. No, I ain't worried about that. That's one. Two. To say, would Will Smith have gone up there and slapped the white presenter for the same joke? I would offer a white presenter wouldn't have made the same joke. You know why a white presenter would not have made the same joke? For fear of getting the shit what? slapped out of him. Okay, that's that. So probably knows better. Chris Rock was a little comfortable, a little familiar. Okay, was smelling himself and the odor was getting mighty strong. Was playing with fire and he really? got burned. Playing with matches and he got playing burned. With fire. And la- with and fire. and lastly and lastly and lastly, I don't like the hypothetical because we don't have the hypothetical. I know. To my don't. knowledge, know. we do have nobody has yeah. ever no nobody has ever walked up to a presenter at the Oscars and slapped him. So I can't say what would have happened if it had been a white host. I can't well, say sure, what would have sure happened if it had been a white man. Happen. No, we can't. Oh, wait, wait, what wait, we have yes, is, we is, a, is Chris that's, Rock. That's no, garbage. we can't. That's garbage. Let me tell no, you what's why. garbage you is trying to do the what about is bullshit. No, that's no, no, garbage. No, no, no. He's like, no. well, if that had oh, been no, a white no, man, I don't oh, give oh, a shit if that had been a white man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, if that had been a white man. It wasn't a white man. You're smelling yourself. Hold on a second. Let me finish. Let me. You're smelling yourself right now because you just brought up an example. You brought up an example. You brought up the insurrection, right? Well, I mm-hmm. remember doing the show with you in real time, and you mm-hmm. said, "Well, if that had we been said. us, and we, you know why okay, we right. said that." So Here's we've a never flaw seen in that retort. It. Allow me, allow we've me to retort. It. Allow me to retort. See, before you make your argument, you might want to think it through. We have four or five hundred years hey, of proof of two Americas, of a double standard when it comes to black and, wh- and white people and how law enforcement Got treats it. us. So the insurrection oh, you I only say. brought it up. To oh, you say, don't say. I, I, oh, only I know brought that. the insurrection up I to say it. that your your concern about how we look today with stereotypes and cliches to me should not be on our minds this morning. We should not be worried about what white people think after watching that last night. I didn't okay? say you I was be worried upset. about what white people think. I didn't say that. We I didn't we, say that. It's been said. Okay, Michael. Okay. Let's re- hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's rewind. You may not have said it, but a few seconds ago I said, let's talk about it because it's been out there. So what I just said was not necessarily directed at you that you said verbatim. We should be worried about what white people think, but you did say we're dealing with angry black man stereotypes today and had a black yeah. woman done it. We'd have been dealing with angry black woman stereotypes. Which is is that, true. You said that, but generally Which the conversation true. immediately last night and today a lot of people have expressed concern about how embarrassing it is for us as a black community. And I'm saying dead that I don't think that white people, hence the reference to the insurrection, somehow can look down their noses and say, see, look how they acting. That that's point one. Point two, going back to the original disagreement that you and I had, we could all say how the insurrection, for example, would have gone differently. Or if you don't like the insurrection, any typical stop of uh, 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 pullover by law enforcement goes differently because right. we have empirical data to support a difference in treatment to say or suggest that Will Smith would have done it differently if it would have been a white comedian. I don't recall a white comedian making a comment about a black woman's hair when that black woman unbeknownst to him or not suffers from alopecia because you might get the shit slapped out of you. Okay, so well, listen, all I we can go it. on I is that Chris. No, okay, that's fine. But Michael, up until now, like up until just now, this this nuanced disagreement we just had, I told you off top, I'm not arguing with you about anything you're saying. I'm not. I'm simply saying it could have been avoided. And once you once you play with play that game with somebody's loved one, I come from a, a plate. How about this? Let me tell you something. I think I talked to you about this. You know I've had combat training, right? 
You know, I've had combat. You got, yeah. I want you to understand my yeah. perspective. I've had combat training. I venture to say 80, 85, maybe 90% of people walking the street don't have the skills that I have. I'm not saying I'm Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson and taken, but nobody, they, most people don't have the skills that I have. Okay. They don't want it with me. And I'm not saying it as a tough guy. I'm saying that I know what I could do, but here's how I'm trained to think. I'm trained to think that everybody I may encounter, everybody that I may get into a physical altercation with is a world class fighter. I am trained not to judge a book by its cover. So I say all that to say, Michael, that when I go about my daily life, don't start and I won't be none. I don't want to, I don't say anything about somebody that could be a trigger. And Michael, how many, and I know you called it toxic mas masculinity earlier and, and the whole my woman thing. I get it. Maybe I'm just old school. Maybe I'm ignorant. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a flaw of mine, bro. But I just operate from a code of don't talk about somebody's loved ones. And if you do, there's a possibility that you might get the shit slapped out of you. I'm not listen, saying that listen. Will should have done it. I'm saying that I've seen it happen before. I told my friend earlier today, am I shocked that Will Smith walked up on stage in the middle of an Oscar ceremony and slapped Chris Rock? I'm shocked. I'm still shocked. Am I shocked that a dude says something about another dude's wife and that dude got upset and put his hands on another dude? No, I'm not. Listen, uh, if, if you if, if if you understand the stakes, if you understand what we're going to, it's going to be the Oscars. First of all, you're nominated. Dude, you're nominated. It's like, Most people I, thought I, he was I, a lot going I, in, right? Like it was almost like a given I, he was going to win that apparently. I just reject the, hey, if this happens on the street, okay, fine. If it happened on the street, if it right. happened at a grocery store, if it happened somewhere else, okay, then we got to change our context. We got to change our frame. Mm -hmm. You're going to the Oscars where there's a good chance that you could be honored. You could be one of the honorees. You're yeah. sitting there. You got Chris Rock on the stage. Who knows what Chris Rock's going to say? He might come at you. He might come at, at your wife in a joking way. It was not, there was nothing mean spirited in my opinion. Okay. Maybe Will Smith thought differently. Thank you. I, there was nothing Thank mean. You. There was nothing mean spirited about what Chris Rock did. Now, if there, if, if Will thought it was mean spirited, why you, what, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing walking up to the stage? Maybe you shouldn't be there. Maybe what you should have done, if, if you're feeling some kind of way, if you're feeling a little tense, why don't you just do a little Zoom thing, do a, do a pre-recorded video, and, ex, and if, just in case you win, give a, give, a, give a speech there. But you know, like, you just ruined, you ruined the night. Well, you and I was, gonna, I was going to say, just like I suggested, hold on, Gary, before you play the music. Well, Gary, get my ear real quick. Do we have the 2016 sock? Or do we just have the, the tweet without the sock? Do we cut the 2016 sock or not? Yeah, play it from tag board. So, Michael, uh, to your point about feeling tense, um, did, you, did you see the 20? Did you see, see the 2016 flashback to when Chris Rock was the host? And the, and the history no, that may see, have no. contributed. All right, so this no. is this is Chris Rock from 2016. This may have contributed and may have kind of like had Will on some. I wish he would say something about you tonight. So check this out. Go ahead, no. Yeah, here we go. What happened this year? What happened? People went mad. You know, Spike got mad and Jonathan got mad and Jada went mad and Will went mad. Everybody went mad. You know, it's quite like Jada got mad. Jada says she's not coming. Protesting. I'm like, is she on the TV show? Jada's going to boycott the Oscars. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. <laughs> I wasn't invited. Mean spirited. That wasn't mean spirited. That felt in bounds. You understand what I'm saying? For whatever reason, Will and Jada and Will in the delayed sense were triggered by the reference to her hair. So I don't know if you saw this headline too. I think the Oscars is considering whether to take the Oscar or take the award back from Will Smith. There will be consequences. Maybe his reputation has been forever tarnished. Again, yeah, he made that, I, I don't think they should take the award back. Tonight, I don't think they should take but the, the night. night is, they, I mean, but even if they don't, the they, night, they, the night was it's tarnished. a non sequitur. You know what I mean?
Yeah. The night, the night was yeah, hard. So he'll. I, I've been talking about the consequences for talking about somebody's wife. Will Smith will certainly face consequences of his own. You know, it's just we don't know. We think we know a lot about their relationship. We don't know that. We don't okay. know why he did what he did. I'm simply saying that's what happens when you cross a certain line and violate certain people's codes. Okay, so just just so we're clear, and, mm -hmm. and, and am I am I good to go? Am I good to go with this? If somebody says anything about someone in my family in a joking way, we good? NBC Peacock, we good? Can I, mean, can I go at them? We good? It Law depends. enforcement, we good? We good? But okay. Mike, I don't know if you could generalize it that way though. It's like, what if it's something? It'd be nice if we could all control ourselves, but sometimes people lose it. If you say the wrong thing about the wrong person, to I, walk Michael, I've up seen on your, the I, stage. Michael, I have seen your temper, and it wasn't at the Oscars. Granted, you're right about that, but right. I've seen your right. temper. <laughs> yes, so, I, I, I know yes, who I'm have. talking to. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us three to five p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.